What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, now that I can hear my own voice, we're going to talk about these MSA Sorden Supreme Supreme Pro X. Man, again, my memory is absolutely terrible. So I bought these because I wanted a higher end, comfortable set of hearing protection. I do have a set of Comtax that I put on my helmet and these spoiled me with the comfort and the quality and the sound quality. I got really, really spoiled. So when I put these on my helmet and I went back to a lower set of hearing protection, I was like, no, I need something that's more durable. So these are definitely less expensive. Most of the Sordans come in between 250 to 350, um, where the Comtax are six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollar set so um one thing i want to give you a warning on there's a ton of sorted makes a ton of different models a ton of different versions of these so as i go through the features on this spe spe specific one words man words are hard today maybe i should start this video over as i go through the features on this one just know there's a ton of different models different headband materials different colors some have microphones some have led lights um different noise reduction rating i mean there's a ton of different things so just know there's a lot of variety so i want to start with the noise reduction rating first now i typically do this with hearing protection anyway but with the sordans it's more important to talk about noise reduction rating than any other hearing protection. The reason is Sordan measures it a little different than other companies. If you look at the rating on these, it's somewhere in the high teens, which is not a very good noise reduction rating unless you dig into it a little bit more. So they give you kind of like the worst case scenario, the worst frequency possible. That's your worst case scenario. You're going to get a noise reduction rating in the high teens. Gunshots are not in that rating so if you look at what you're going to get for hearing protection for an average gunshot and there's a lot of variables indoors outdoors calibers and stuff you're going to be somewhere in the mid 20s to the high 20s maybe the low 30s so overall the noise reduction rating is a little weird how Sordan does it but the protection is very very good definitely comparable to some of their competitors next let's talk about the uh, sound quality it is a digital set of hearing protection the electronics in here appear to be very very good and the sound quality is excellent the uh, amplification of the low level noises is very very good uh, overall the sound quality is very, very good. I don't think they're quite as good as the Comtex, but again, the Comtex are two to three times the price. If you compare them to a, a lower level set of Peltors or Walkers or something, no doubt it is significantly better than something like that. On the front here, you do have two microphones for some omnidirectional sound, and it's very good at you. Can really helps you tell where sounds are coming from. The uh, microphones are also very, very good. On the back here, you have a 3.5 millimeter jack. If you want to hook up your Microsoft Zune and rock out to some Britney Spears, you can do so. You young kids, go Google what a Microsoft Zune is. Uh, you can also put, plug in a radio or a push to talk or something like that. And again, some of these do come with a built-in microphone. The battery compartment is also on the back here and it's a little on the weird side. I'm not gonna say it's bad, it's just weird. I uh, like everything, the battery compartment is very, very durable. It is a steel battery door, the compartment door. It's very, very tight on here to, to take it off. The threads are steel as well. It's O-ring sealed, but the battery setup's a little bit different. And to get the batteries out, you actually have to hit the hearing protection with a little bit of force. And don't worry, they can, they can take it. They're very, very durable. But you have to hit it with a little bit of force. And then after you get the first battery out, there's a second battery in there that you kind of have to hit up before you hit it out. So once you do it once, it's not hard. It's not challenging. It's very easy. But it will be okay. Just give it a good whack and the batteries come right out. On the side here, you have very simple controls, three buttons. The middle button turns it on. When you hold that button, you get a nice little beep. Nothing annoying, so you know it's turned on or turned off. And then you have a volume up and volume down. I always get this question, the volume up and down does not increase the sound of the gunshots, just the, uh, the safe sounds, the sounds below 83 decibels or whatever it is. So it amplifies people's voices and critters walking in the woods and whatever else you're using them for, but it does not amplify the sound of gunshots. It has a four hour auto off, which is great. Everything electronics should have that. I always forget to turn my hearing protection off and you have up to a 600 hour battery life which is very very good uh, the model i went with here has a nice set of gel cups 
And I definitely recommend gel cups on all of your hearing protection. I put a set of noise fighter gel cups on my contacts. The advantage of the gel cups is a couple different things. The biggest thing for me is going to be the comfort. It doesn't push in your hearing protection as much. You don't get a headache. It's just much more comfortable. It also gives you a better seal, so a better noise reduction rating, better hearing protection. And they're also a little bit cooler in the summer as well. Now, of course, the bands are adjustable just like any other hearing protection. If you're like me and you got a big old head, you always appreciate that. Uh, this particular band is some sort of uh, padded material. I find it very, very comfortable on my bald head. Again, they have a lot of different types of bands, colors, leather, tons of different options. You can go to the Sordens website and check all of them out. And I will put several affiliate links down in the video description if you want to pick some of these up. Hook me up, use those affiliate links. Couple more quick facts, they are waterproof. If you wanna do your underwater missions, if you are a Navy SEAL, these are waterproof. Uh, they have a five year warranty and they are made in Sweden. All right, favorite part of the video. Let's talk about the testing that I have done. So when I tell you the pros, cons, and what I think of them overall, you understand where I am coming from. I gotta thank True Shot Gun Club real quick. They are one of the newer sponsors of this channel. They are supplying some of the ammo to this channel. And that is huge. Ammo is so expensive, but they have a lot of really, really good deals on ammo literally all of the time. There's an affiliate link down in the description. Again, if you want to hook me up, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I've had these for several months. I have been wearing them a ton. I go to the range all of the time. And I don't break out my helmet very often unless I'm shooting um, uh, uh, with night vision. So most of the time I am using these. I have shot them indoors with pistol and rifle and in low light conditions. Not that that matters for hearing protection. I also shot them outdoors. Again, if you're wondering, daytime and nighttime, I have shot uh, rim fire. I've shot pistols. I've shot funky PDWs, like a flux brace. I'm working on the review for that now. I have even shot up to uh, 762, 308, and I even shot 50 BMG with these uh, hearing protection on. So I think I gave them a very, very good test being it was indoors, outdoors, when it was cold, when it was warm-ish, 65 degrees, <laughs> warm-ish, pistol, rifle, you get the point. So I'm gonna say the uh, biggest pros for me are gonna be the durability. Uh, they are a very, very durable set of hearing protection. The electronics that are in here are on a steel board and then they're encased in some sort of epoxy of some sort, I forgot the actual material, the term, but being it's all um, epoxied in together, they're very, very uh, durable, very drop resistant. That's why I said if you hit it to get the battery batteries out, I wouldn't be too concerned you're gonna do any damage to it. The sound quality is very, very good, not only with the microphones and um, dropping the sounds, uh, the dangerous sounds like the gunshots, amplifying all of the other sounds, Sound quality is great. And even when you plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack and listen to your Microsoft Zune, the quality is decent as well. The controls are very, very easy. You have simple power on, volume up, excuse me, volume down, that's it. And I appreciate that. Now I don't really have a con. I can't put the battery compartment in a con. It's not really a con. If you're really upset about it, get over it. Um, I will make you aware of it. Again, it's different. It's a little bit harder to take the batteries out than like the contacts or something, but it's really not a big deal. Overall, I think they are going to be the best value for a high-end set of hearing protection. Now, I know people out there, $250, $300, $350, that's not a good value for a set of high-end hearing protection. If you're only going to the range once in a great while, an hour here, hour there, yeah, those walkers are probably fine for you. But if you want something a little bit more comfortable, if you want something a little higher quality, if you spend a long period of time at the range, then these, I think, give you the best value for a high-end set of hearing protection. The Comtex are wonderful. I love my Comtex. The sound quality is great. The how easy they hook up to radios and push to talks are great. Uh, but they're again, they're expensive. Six, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars. That is a lot of money for a set of hearing protection. So these specific ones I bought, I believe, were two hundred eighty-eight dollars. Again, I will put affiliate links down in the video description. And uh, they're not the lightest. They're not the best quality, but I think they are the best value. I got a dad, another dad tip for you. I've done this in a couple of my videos and I wanna continue to do it. What was that? Do you hear that weird noise? Is that my microphone? Anyway, sorry, dad tip. I should have redone this video three times. I keep on messing up, but we're going 
and rocking with it. I want to encourage you kings and queens out there to do a better job and be more aware of your mental health. If you're doing something and you feel your mental health slip in, whether it's around a certain person or a certain season, whatever, figure out things to improve your mental health. Don't ignore your mental health is what I'm trying to say. Uh, address those little issues before they become big problems. And me personally, I notice the better I take care of my physical health, it significantly helps, helps my mental health. So take care of your physical health, take care of your mental health, and just make yourself a better person. All right, before you guys go, I don't have sword into thank because I bought these with my hard earned money. I do want to thank True Shot Gun Club again for supplying the ammo to this channel. I also want to thank, let's thank another one of my sponsors just for fun. Let's thank Prime Armor. Prime Armor makes great, great, great body armor and plate carriers. Again, I should stop the video because I can't speak. Just like sword in, they are some of the best value for higher end armor body armor and plate carriers link discount code all that good stuff is down in the video description i started a second youtube channel dedicated to youtube shorts quick 15 to 60 second videos if you want to check it out link is down below i greatly greatly appreciate it i do have patreon i don't do enough on there but if you want to support the channel don't need a dollar two five ten per month truly helps me out and i definitely would appreciate that I am on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to know what I'm reviewing right now in real time before the reviews come out on YouTube, the links also are down in the video description and that will tell you, I will show you always what I am working on right now for reviews. More important than anything else, let me thank you boys and girls for watching. It is truly, truly appreciate. Every time you guys like a video, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. If you do any of those things for your favorite YouTube creator, it truly helps us out, and I don't know about anybody else, but I truly, truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!